Most people think their facial structure is completely genetic. That if your face grows downward, if your jawline is weak, if your midface looks long, that it's all predetermined. But what if I told you that's only half true because your bones don't grow randomly. They grow according to the forces placed on them every single day. Let me show you something wild. In developmental biology, there's a principle called Wolf's Law. It states that bone adapts to mechanical load, meaning whatever forces your body experiences repeatedly, your bones slowly remodel to support them, and that includes your face. Downward growth, also called clockwise rotation, or vertical maxillary growth, is when your face grows. Down instead of forward. This usually results in a longer midface, a flatter jawline, a more recessed chin, weaker cheek projection, mouth breathing posture, a downward tilted mandible. But here's the part almost nobody talks about. Downward growth usually isn't caused by bad genetics, it's caused by weak muscular stimulus and poor airway posture during development. Before I get into the video, please subscribe and like the video. Here are the three forces that shape facial direction. 1. Tongue posture. Your tongue is meant to rest fully against the palate, applying upward support. This upward pressure helps guide facial growth forward. When the tongue drops, usually from mouth breathing, the maxilla stops receiving upward support, gravity wins, and the face grows downward instead of forward. 2. Chewing forces. Modern diets are soft. Way softer than what human skulls evolved for less chewing equals weaker masseter muscles equals less lateral and forward pressure on the maxilla. This contributes to long, narrow faces. 3. Airway mechanics. If your airway is congested, blocked, or restricted, your body defaults to mouth breathing. And mouth breathing is the number one predictor of downward facial development. Here's the truth. Puberty is the most powerful window for correcting growth direction. The facial bones are still developing, still adapting, still remodeling rapidly. Most orthodontists focus on teeth, but the real opportunity is correcting. Tongue posture, nasal breathing, chewing stimulus, forward facial support, airway function. So yes, if someone is in puberty, they can massively influence growth rotation with the right habits. What can teens actually do? 1. Prioritize nasal breathing. 24-7. This is the foundation. If your nose is congested, fix the cause. Allergies, deviated septum, inflammation, or weak nasal passage muscles. Nasal breathing automatically lifts the tongue and improves posture. 2. Correct tongue posture. The full tongue, not just the tip, should rest on the palate. This provides gentle, upward support that encourages proper rotation of the maxilla 3. Chew harder foods. I'm not talking about jaw destroying gum routines. Just a return to natural chewing forces. Things like Tough meats, raw, vegetables, firm, fruits, sugar-free gum, in moderation. This stimulates the masseter muscles and improves forward facial support. 4. Fix sleep posture. Sleeping on your back with elevated pillows can worsen downward rotation. Side sleeping with proper neck alignment supports better airway mechanics. 5. Strengthen the airway. Mouth taping, nasal dilators, and breathing drills all reinforce the nasal pathway. A clear airway is everything for healthy growth. Can adults fix this? Here's the truth. Most creators won't say. Adults cannot completely reverse skeletal rotation. But adults can change. Muscle tone, jaw, posture, neck posture, breathing mechanics, facial fat, distribution, mandibular, rotation through strength, the appearance of forward projection through masseter hypertrophy. And these changes can dramatically improve facial aesthetics, just not by regrowing new bone directions. If someone wants to correct downward rotation during puberty, here's the protocol. One nasal breathing 24-7-2. Full tongue to palate posture 3. Chewing firm foods daily 4. Optimize sleep posture 5. Strengthen breathing pathways. 6. Eliminate habits that pull the face downward. Open mouth posture. Neck craning. Soft diets. 7. Orthodontic support only when necessary. Remember, your face is not fixed. It's a living structure responding to daily forces. Change the forces. And you change the outcome. If you want the complete system to improve facial posture, optimize chewing, and support forward development, check out my full guide.